Welcome to State of Tech. We're going to go over Evernote for iOS 7. If we open up our application, it's going to log us into our account and bring us here into our main menu where we can see a quick glance of everything that's in our Evernote notebook. We have our notes, we have notebooks, tags, and then the marketplace down here at the bottom. And then down at the very bottom, we have the option to take quick notes with our camera, documents, alarms, checklists, and even lists in themselves. Now in the top left hand corner if we tap on our name it's going to bring us into our settings menu where we can change a few different options. You see our account type right now is free but if we wanted to we can go premium by tapping on go premium and we're going to be able to get the most out of Evernote with premium. We can access notes offline, get additional mobile security, change our upload speeds to one gigabyte, search within documents and PDF attachments, view note history and even collaborate with others using shared notes. Now to go premium, it's going to be a monthly subscription. We can either do $4.99 per month or we can do a one-time fee of $44.99 per year. Tapping on one of those options is going to load up the App Store where now we can either with the 5S scan with our fingerprint and sign in or we can go and sign in and use the Evernote Premium and it's going to charge it to our Apple ID. Now coming back out, we can also see our current monthly usage. You see right now we've used 4.6 megabytes of our 60 megabyte limit being that we're on a free account and we can choose to sync now by tapping sync now. We also have the last synchronized time which was 850 and it's going to go ahead and sync everything with our Evernote account right now. Down the bottom we have support and feedback where we can send feedback, submit support requests, view the knowledge base, view a getting started guide and view our activity log. Now with any of the feedback or support requests that we tap on there, we'll be able to give it a title, get a comment, and even rate the app and give it some stars, and then submit this to the support knowledge. Now the knowledge base here will open up a web page here where we can view all of the knowledge base for Evernote, and you see we can view articles, top articles, and we can even sort them by device up here at the top. Now the Getting Started Guide is also another web page where we'll open up and we can view a video about Evernote 7 and we can even view a Getting Started Guide here. Now down at the bottom we have General Settings where we have an Evernote email address and note editor reminders and synchronize on Wi-Fi only. Now Evernote email address we tap on there. You see we have an email address that we can use to add to our contacts list or even copy to a clipboard where we can email notes, photos, and audio clips from our computer or phone right into Evernote Notebook and we can choose that use this email address. We have a note editor where we can do suggested note titles that will use our location, calendar, and other information to suggest titles for our notes. We can turn this on or off right there. We can save our snapshots into our camera roll and we can choose to upload our image size to the actual size and if we tap on that it's going to bring us in where we can choose from small, medium, large, or actual size. And keep in mind that the larger the file size, it's going to take a little bit a little bit longer to upload, and it's also going to take more of our free usage data if we're on a free account. Our reminder settings that we tap on there, we can receive reminder emails on the mornings, on the days when reminders are due, and we tap on our time zone, we can change our time zone for our basic reminders, and it's going to change that for all of Evernote. We can clear our cache, which is going to clear the cache which Evernote saves the contents of notes we open, stores them in a cache so the notes load faster when we view them again, and if we tap clear, it's going to go ahead and clear all of that out, and we'll have to, whenever we reload a note, it's going to create that cache for us again. Now in our camera settings, we have post-it notes, new with Evernote, where we can customize the way Evernote organizes our post-it notes. We can tap and view a getting started guide, which is going to show us how to use these Evernote post-it notes. And you see we can read this and we can even buy some post-it notes right here inside the app. We can order post-it notes which is going to bring us into the Evernote market or we can scroll through and buy some post-it notes that are designed to work with Evernote 7. You see we have some custom colors in here and if we scan them we'll be able to add them here into our Evernote. Now we have the colors. We have electric yellow, neon pink, electric blue, and limeade. Now these are going to be the colors for the post-it notes that are working here with Evernote. And if we tap on one, you see this yellow one is default set to be a reminder. Now we can shut the reminder off and have it actually go to a notebook instead and choose what notebook we'd like it to go to. Or we can even have this be set up as a tag. And if we tap on tags, we can have it automatically be a specific tag. So we can do as many of these options as we like to and as little of these options as well. 
So you see, whenever we do come in here and we scan one of these post-it notes, it's going to automatically put that post-it note and organize it into the category we've selected. So if we come into the green one, for example, if I set this for a notebook, I'll tap notebook and then I'll tap on the inbox I like it to go into. And for this one, let's just say I like to go to my contacts. So this is going to let me know whenever I scan a green LimeAid post-it note that whatever content that goes to is going to go into my contacts notebook and nothing else. But if I'd also like it to create a reminder, I'll go ahead and tap reminder. And if I wanted to even organize it by a specific tag, say for this one, I wanted to say it was going to be a travel or work, I'll tap on work and I'll come back out. And whenever I scan a LimeAid post-it note now, you see that whatever content on that is going to go into my notebook contacts, it's going to go into my tag of work, and then it's automatically going to create a reminder based upon that LimeAid post-it note. And I can turn these off if I'd like to, and I can reorganize them however I want and just tap on that tag and it's going to remove that. Now you see it set back it's to its default positions. And those are how you're going to work the post-it notes here in the Evernote app. We also have our Moleskin notebook, which these do work basically the same way that we just did the post-it notes, except if you have these smart stickers on your Moleskin notebook, you can assign these stickers to actual actions. So if I tap on home, I can choose it to go to a notebook and a tag. Notice that for these ones, I can't set reminders. The only thing I get to do is set the notebook and tag that these, each one of these is related with. Now my legal, I can view attributions, terms of service, and privacy policy, and tapping on one of those is going to allow me to read those certain notes. And then up in the top right hand corner, we can go ahead and log out of our account. So I'm going to close out the settings and we'll come back out to our main menu. Now the first menu in the top is going to be any announcements that Evernote has and we can scroll through and read all of the announcements that are here in Evernote. And if we tap in one, you see a new sketch. We can read the post and we can view more information about what Evernote's trying to tell us. We can go ahead and swipe back out, come back out to our main menu. And then below that, you see as an announcement, as we read them, the announcement section fades away. And now we're just remaining with our notebooks and tags and all of that stuff right here. So if we tap on notes, it's going to bring us here into all of our notes where we can view them and start sorting through them. Up in the top right hand corner, we have the option to search. So if we tap on the magnifying glass, we'll be able to search. And so if I wanted to search for my name, for example, I'll type that in and hit search. And it's going to look for any note that contains my name in it. And so now I've got two notes on there. And if I tap on one, it's going to bring that up here where I can view it in a full screen mode and then even edit it with the options here in the bottom of the screen. So in the top, we have our note title where I tap in there, I can edit the note title. I've seen below that I have the current notebook that it's in, which is Sketch, since this is a Sketch related note. I can tap on More, and I can even change the notebook, add a tag, add a location, delete the note, and even hide the info here in the note as well. Now at the bottom, I can set a reminder, favorite it, share it, or even add new attachments. And then I can come back out to the search field. And now if I wanted to create a new note, I'll just back out of my search, hit Done. Now I'm in my all notes options and if I hit the plus button in the top right hand corner it brings me to a new note and you see now it's basing my note title off of the information that I've given it for today such as my morning work which is in my calendar it's using my current location it sees I'm in Modesto or I can just give my note a title whatever I want to do so for now I'm just going to give it morning work and now I can choose inbox if I tap there I can choose the inbox it's going to go into if I tap more you see I can add tags, which if I add tags, it's going to help me sort through and find notes faster later on. So for this one, it's going to be work. So I'll add the tag work and then hit return. You see it automatically populates that. And then I'm going to go ahead and call this one another iCopilot tag. And then hit return and it's going to save my tags. Now it's picking up my current location based upon my GPS. I'll go ahead and hide the info for now. And if I tap in the body field, I'll be able to start typing. and now I've created a note. Now I can hit done, it's gonna save that note or I can hit the attachment button where I can choose the camera, documents, or microphone. So if I choose the camera, it's gonna load up my camera and I can swipe over to scan a post-it note. I can scan over a photo or scan over a document. Go ahead and close that out. Come back into the note, we'll do another attachment for the document feed right there where I can choose from my album roll and I can go ahead and come back out and then I'll go ahead and cancel out of there. And then our last attachment is going to be the microphone, 
where Evernote's going to want to access our microphone. And then we can give, you leave a voice memo here inside the application. And you see that being that it's read, it's recording. And if I tap on it again, it's going to stop recording. And I can choose to save my current recording. Now I can use a list. I can do a number or a bullet point, a check mark. I have paragraph styles. And I can even change the font style, such as underline, strike through, italicize, bold, and even the orientation in which it lines up on the screen. Now if I hit done, it's going to bring me out of my edit mode where I can add a reminder in the bottom left hand corner or even add an attachment. Now if I want this new note to be saved, I'll tap save in the top right hand corner. It'll save my note or I can tap cancel and I can go ahead and delete or discard these changes here in this note. Now that I'm back in my all notes view, we'll come back out to the main screen and now we can view a different notebook. So we tap on notebooks. It's going to show me all the notebooks and I have a list of how many notes are in each book. So you see Contacts has 19, iCopilot 0, Inbox 9, Penultimate 2, Sketch two, 3, and then I have the trash at the bottom. Now if I tap Edit in the top right hand corner, I can go ahead and delete some of these notebooks. And if I hit the Delete button, you see I can empty the trash. I'll go ahead and do so. If I do the Sketch, hit Delete, it's going to ask me if I'd like to confirm that. We'll just hit Cancel for now. And then the Share button on the right hand side allows me to share the notebook, add it to a stack, or even share it. Now I can tap new notebook in the top left hand corner. It's going to create a new notebook where I can give it a new title and then hit done and I'm going to save my changes. If I tap here in the find notebook, so I had a long list of notebooks I can search in the field and it's going to try and find a specific notebook for me. Now coming back, I can even view tags in the same manner where I have different tags I can view and scroll through. Now you see some of them are a darker color, some of them are lighter color. The ones that are a darker color are letting me know that I have more notes in those ones than other ones. So the lighter the tag, the less notes, the darker they are, the more notes I have in each tag. And I can tap here and find a tag if I have a long list. I can sort by name or by count. You see if I tap by count, it's putting the ones with heavier notes at the top and lighter notes at the bottom. And then I can even edit these and delete them. You see I can delete notes by tapping on the delete button. Go ahead and hit done bring back the sort by name field here as well and then come back out. Now I have the announcements down here at the bottom now that I have nothing else going on and then I have the market where I can shop the Evernet market and buy some of the products that they offer such as the backpack, printers, t-shirts, uh, notes, Evernote premium and I can even view some more applications that they offer for the iOS ecosystem. Coming back out into the main menu we have one last option down here, which is to take a quick note. If I tap with the camera, it's just going to open up my camera and allow me to quickly snap a photo to take a note. I have the album selector where I can choose my camera roll. And if I do that, I can go ahead and select some photos. I have reminders, which is going to let me create a quick reminder. Then the bullet point, which I can create a new note with a bullet point and cancel out of there. And then the list where I can create a note with a list. And these are quick action toggles down here at the bottom that I can just quickly enter a note without actually having to come into the notes field, tap on the plus button, create a new note. You see, I, it's kind of a little bit of a longer process. And if I just wanted to quickly create something, I have it right here down at the bottom, quick toggles to get to the quick functions that I need right here in Evernote. And this is how you're going to use Evernote 7 for the iPhone.